welcome to FM Tahiti. Hope you're doing well. It's been an absolute age since I've played um, any football manager, really, never mind the safe. Because I've been away, so I think I mentioned one of the earlier videos. I was trying to get some recorded and up, and obviously hit a really kind of unfortunate time for me because I was really getting into it because playing really well. But we're back, or I'm back from my travels. Um, and we've got Nadi in the quarterfinals. I think they're a Fijian team. Yeah, yeah, that's right. The Fijian team. I think we played them in the past and we've beaten them. So we're going to play them now. I made any changes to the squad, partly because I can't remember um, how well everyone was playing, other than very well. That's a pretty strong squad. Yannan and Gerard, uh, Mercedes. McCormack, Andre, Pons, Lamb, Huck, Maxine, and McIntyre, and Smith. That's pretty much the strongest team we've got, really. Good run. Do your business. And again, we're being kind of... We're the favourites for this tie, so hopefully we'll be able to uh, cause a few problems. Just check what settings are on for the match ones. Don't understand why that was so slow. Jared almost. Almost started off really well there. So we're at home for this. The quarterfinals are. Ooh, that was whipped in. The quarterfinals are one leg. Going too fast now. Let's go back one. Yeah, quarterfinals are one leg. I'll finally say that. I think it's the semi-finals and the final where you get extra legs. McCormack sweeping it in, nice and easy. No problems there for McCormick. Do I need to see this? I think there might be a couple more goals for this one. Not sure who we've got after, but we do. Tetero, as you can see there, have made it through to the quarterfinals as well. They crept through in second place in the end. They didn't play that well. I think they dropped some points. I think Yannin's offside, isn't he? Apparently not. That's a little unfortunate. But not a bad finish for Andre. Yes, Tetero made it through Auckland City and Team Wellington, and then as Nardi. So Nardi and Marist Fire are the two weak teams. That's probably Amicale, and Nelson Tetaroa potentially, and then the New Zealand teams. Go on, Andre, driving forwards. Yeah, there we go. Someone was going to score. They were just lining up and deciding who was going to do it. See, I'm getting back into it because I've been away. It's been... It's been at least a week since I played any FM. Probably longer. Um, so the way for a conference in Finland, which is quite nice. Very quiet place. Everyone's very, um, every everyone's very polite and friendly when you talk to them, but they will do their best not to talk to you. It's very kind of introverted. I liked it. It was nice. Um, it's a good conference. And what I tried to do, the place I went to, um, it's a city in in Finland where I've actually managed one of the teams there in the past. So I wasn't going there because I wanted to. Oh, good long range goal by Andre. Just picked a corner, didn't he, for that one? We'll see that one again. That one's worth seeing again, isn't it? Quite far out. You know, that yet? Just over there. I'll do. Yes, yeah, so I went to this city in Finland. I won't say which one it is, but I've managed the team in the past, and it's um, a team that I think Grey Haired Gaming have managed in the past in one of their. I can't remember if it's FM seventeen or FM eighteen. Their kind of journeyman. Uh, see, I think it was FM18, and they managed a similar team uh, in Finland, well, the same team. So I tried to go to the stadium to see them play, but obviously I kind of mistimed it, because although the season's still on in Finland, um, they were playing away whilst I was there, so I think they had two games, and they were both away. And there was a smaller team from the same city, I thought maybe I'll go watch instead, they were also away. Um... Nice, nice little goal by McIntyre. Go see that one again, but it's, it's becoming a bit of a thumping. 
The OCL is not the challenge it once was. The Amicali seems to be holding Auckland, which would be nice. We could if they could sneakily knock them out. Yannin, 42nd goal of the season. Make it very difficult to leave this club. Oh, we don't need to see that again. He just, he just got there to the, uh, the back post before anyone else. So yeah, I tried to go on my football manager pilgrimage. I tried to see a team I'd managed in the past in foreign climes and failed miserably. I mean, there's nothing I could do about it because I was there for a conference. I was there for set days, so I couldn't stick around for longer or come earlier just to do that. That would have been a bit, a bit odd. My wife would have had words with me. But I tried. Um, also, when I got there, the shop was shut, so I couldn't buy a shirt either. So there, was, there wasn't much I could do. But, you know, the stadium looks alright from the outside. Better than stadiums actually look in the actual game. It's kind of a pet hate as well for me now. I think I notice it. Ooh. I think I notice it more with this database than I would normally, because every team starts off with a very similar sized stadium, apart from one or two. And then lots of teams have expanded. But there's not that much variety and if you've watched the videos where we got our stadium expansion there's one where I actually end up counting the seats if you've not seen it um, because the stadium um, looks exactly the same what happened there? I didn't give them a team talk did I? that's what happened there Yeah, but so the stadium looks exactly the same despite this big expansion, or big for us. I had to count the seats. It's the right number of seats. It's just visually it wasn't, wasn't amazing. And there's not as much character as there could be. I can understand why they can't have real stadiums. So they can't have a replica of Old Trafford or St. James's or anything like that because as lovely as that would be, they're licensed. And I think their likenesses or whatever a license more for FIFA so they've, that's why you can if you play an ultimate team you can buy the or get unpack the stadium cards and stuff like that so for a lot of leagues they either wouldn't be able to get it because someone else has got it or it'd cost too much or it would cost maybe not that much but more than it's worth because it's not like if people are boycotting the game because it's not got it in but what they could do is maybe just spruce up the graphics for it, um, get a bit more variety in there, and I just don't know, I think I may have mentioned this on the forums once, it would just be nice to see a style of stadium, because different countries have different style stadiums, so if you're in a lot of mainland Europe to be fair, a lot of the smaller stadiums will have running tracks. They'll, because they will be an athletic club stadium, they will just be a football stadium, they'll have other things going on. Um, so they have a kind of different feel, and some countries have more kind of open ends rather than the kind of all around. Some have more of the kind of traditional terraces like the UK, or that's kind of style to it. There's lots of different approaches. Um, some countries like the US have a lot of the kind of bowl style as well. I was always going to go in. Brutal. 32nd for Gerard. Yeah, he's got 10 more goals than him. That's a good, good tackle. He, he worked for it. And what we'll do now is we'll make some subs because everyone is gradually getting tired. Let's get Tangaro on for Yannin. Keith on for Gerard. And uh, another hook for uh, Zoran. I've just seen the uh, live score, so uh, Auckland are beating Amicale 4 0 now. It's not bad. They held on for a little bit. Almost. Talangar is the kind of player I might try and take with me because he's, he's not the best striker that we've got, but he'd do a job for a lot of teams. And he's just so big. Massive presence. 
Boom. The tip of his toes. Don't need to see this one either. But yeah, as I said, it'd be nice to have just more characterful stadiums. And I'm not asking for like us to be able to choose. Like if you played FM Live, you could select the expansions you were going to put in, and you know the size and the comfort, that you know the quality of them. Uh, almost Tamangara, and like in that FIFA Club Manager, you could do that. Ultimate Soccer Manager, you know, USM. There's lots of games out there where you could do that. But obviously, it's not really a manager's job to say what kind of style you want to be. But it'd be good if there were more of those kind of you know different country style stadiums or and more kind of details and graphics that go along with it because I'm you know I've, I'm glad we've got to the stage where you've got picnic benches everywhere It'd just be good if maybe we had stuff that you actually find in the corner of football stadiums Andre with his 10th his hat trick yeah there we go a couple of decent goals as well out of the three five one nine nil three nil so yeah, no surprises. Got time to get the 10th. No, uh, 42 shots to 7. So it's uh, probably fair to say they weren't really in that match, were they? Let's have a look at the uh, calendar and see what we've got next. I think... I can't remember who we said we have next, but I think it might be Tetaroa. Yeah, so we've got a double-legged semi-final against Tetaroa. So we could... What's the last score? We beat them 5-1 when we played them last, a couple of months ago. Well, the end of January, so it's quite a while ago. Um, last time we played them? Yeah, because we lost in the very first. So... We've got them in the semi-final first leg. What I'll probably do is... Actually, we'll, I'll just come back for the um, first leg, and then in the second video we'll have the second leg. We'll sp split it out that way, seeing as we're um, potentially playing the next and there's 14 days until then. So we'll be back in a second to actually take on Tetero. Let's keep the O-leg, O-leg, O-league legs going. Right then, so we're back, and as you can see, there's a certain consistency here. So, one semi-final is between Auckland City and Team Wellington, obviously both from New Zealand, and the other semi-final is us against Tetero, so both from Polynesia. So, we're guaranteed a New Zealand um, Tahiti final, which I think is what it has been for the past three years. There's been one non-New Zealand team in the final since 2019. We could have won it that year. But yeah, this is what we got. Come back obviously too early. We've already got our first results in Auckland City beating Wellington. I'm not going to change the team. Yannin's still unhappy because he didn't want me to sell. Um... That defensive midfield, whose name I can't remember, sold him. Now he's dead to me. <laughs> really can't remember his name. Come on, lads. Confident on our way through because we've been scoring for fun. Yeah, it's good to have a rest. I'm not going to shake his hand. Let's get going. So, last time we played them, we beat them 5 1. The time before that, they beat us 2 1. Their second place in the league currently, so they've played 26 games and are three points behind us, and we played 25, so we've got three points and the game in hand on them in the league. Go McIntyre, that was a bit. Go McCormack, someone. Good if one of you could have done that. Come on. This will be a very different proposition to Nardi, but still. Best in them in the league. Oh, Yanin. Close there. 
And yeah, we've got priors with Tetera, so they beat us to the championship title in the very first season on goal difference. And results against, I think, in the end it would have been both. So we finished on joint points, but they got the title. So it's one piece of silverware they denied to us. But we've generally performed better than them most seasons. Apart from one, the one where we had that kind of disastrous start a couple of seasons ago. But generally we've been above them. They've been winning silver weather. They've had some cup success. Oh, puns. And Bosk has got a good amount of clean sheets. He's decent. Can't get it in. Always worry a little bit when it shows you a highlight like that. Just asking for it to show a mistake. Andre tried. Driving past him. Ah, oh, it's a good goal. He's on fire at the moment. Hat trick in the air quarters. Nice, relatively individual effort. Let's see that one again, because I like to see their pain. Tetero's pain. There we go. So they're good, but not good enough so far. I'll play it at home. I wonder what our gate receipts are going to be. So we made our record um, gate receipts in the last match against Nardi. So we made £18,000. Penalty. Yeah. Rushed. Saw it and everything. Definitely didn't look like he just tripped up over his own feet. Oh, Yannin just about gets it in. Keeper almost went there. Well, keeper did go the right way. So yeah, we made £18,000 in the last match. That's against Nardi. I wonder what we'll make from this one. Not enough to get rid of that, though. £300,000 worth of debt that we've managed to rack back up again. I'd like another goal. Get three. If we keep it as 3 0, it'd be great for the second leg. We do have a league game in between this and the next leg, which is against Mountie. Go on, McCormick. What was that? Offside anyway, but... Yes, yeah, so we've got a match against Mount T. Now, Mount T are always struggling, but... Already, there are two teams that are guaranteed to be in... I say one of the two, two teams where one of them is guaranteed to be in the uh, relegation playoffs, and the other one's going to be relegated, and that's Mount T and Mayow. They're so far behind everyone else that it's a... Uh, it's a two-horse race to the bottom, really, for them. I have a feeling it doesn't really matter. They're both going to end up going down, both being that bad. So whoever ends up in the relegation playoff, I think, will be beaten by the championship side. So we've got Mounty after this. Get rid. Get rid. Like, properly get rid of it. Good save. There we go. What have we got going here? Got some yellow cards to deal with. Let's bring on Wit. It's reliable. Spearling off Andre. Beauvale. So as we keep our strike force on. A bit risky going for all three. But it's all in midfield, so fresh legs for the engine. Oh, Maxina. I was going to try himself. Keep going short, but actually I only want them to go short if they're not being marked. So I don't know if there's an option for me to force them to go for a normal corner. 
if there's someone marking them. So that would be the ideal. You've pulled a defender out of position or a body out of position to cover the short, and then you put it into the box anyway. But it does seem to be able to work out to do that as an option. If you can, you might not be able to. Doesn't look like we're going to get our third goal. 22 shots to their four. So that was poor. Yeah. Should be about done now. There we go. So 2 0. It's a good start. Uh, we've, I'll play the Mapti match and then the first match of the next video. Uh, we should be on 98th video, I think. Um, we'll be against. Well, we have the second against Tetera. I've just got two achieve achievements unlocked. I don't think you can see them. Top form and park the bus. So it's been a while since we've conceded, I think. So thanks very much for uh, watching. Um, and we'll see you back for the next match where we can see if we're going to end up in the final. It might it currently looks like us in Auckland City, um, which would be a familiar final. But we, sh we shall see. I'll see you in a while. Thanks very much. Mm -hmm.